Like, I don't know what outside. <laughs> and for whatever reason, that song just popped in my head. Because I'm like, dang, it's raining hard outside, y'all. We about to get a, a snowstorm coming in, y'all. I ain't trying to be out there in that mess. No? Okay? Y'all, I went to go pick up Kelly from school. Well, I tell y'all, I was like, what the heck happened? Okay? The dogs don't want to go outside? <laughs> It's cold, y'all. It's cold outside. But anyway, hey, y'all. Hey, okay. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? I know. I know if y'all new here, y'all like this girl right here. Okay, y'all, you go here, okay? Welcome to the fam, where craziness is accepted. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing, y'all, I'm not crazy. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Anyway, today, y'all, I'm getting into something a little new, okay? I felt like I just wanted to just try something different today. So, this video, I gotta give a big shout out to my girl, Christy, for recommending this, okay? Shout out to you, Christy, for dropping this in my DMs, okay? Shout out to you. Appreciate you so much, okay? Um, this one is When Karens Get What They Deserve, 2022 Public Freakouts Compilation. Show, okay? Karens, y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? You can get yourself together. Leave folk alone, okay? Mind your business. I'm just saying... <laughs> Yeah, let me stop. Let me stop making everybody mad before I even get into the video. Okay, because y'all not gonna come for me. I don't feel like it. I'm just saying, y'all, all I know is Karen's y'all, people be trying to put them on blast these days. But you know it's always somebody that think they got to go and regulate and dictate and tell everybody what they should and shouldn't be doing and who go where and when and why. And your trash can doesn't belong here and you don't you don't live here, y'all. I'm over it, okay? <laughs> so we about to laugh at him, okay? So, you know, I ain't finna keep this video long, y'all. This video is long enough. So go on and get your popcorn ready. Uh, <laughs> and let's go on and get into this video, y'all, okay? Let me scooch over just a sheesh, a sheesh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it, Lee, okay? All right, y'all. Oh, wait. Let's go back over here first. All right, now, let's go. That the pizza says ready on my pizza tracker. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, I get a free pizza. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to Finest Freakouts. I hope you're having oh a fantastic gosh. day, morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And please, before we get into today's video, smash the like button, hit subscribe if you're new, and comment down below on any of these clips if you have opinions and criticism on any of them. It's great. It's a cold winter's morning here in the UK, so if you can hear the birds tweeting, I apologize, but I think it adds a nice touch. In today's first freakout, we have a Karen who is waiting outside in the Domino's parking lot and she ordered her Domino's online on the app. Now, number one, this doesn't make any sense because who drives to Domino's to then order on the app when you can just go in and order with the employees there? But instead, Karen, because she makes no sense whatsoever, decides to walk to the place, see if they're open, turn around, go and sit back in her car and then order on the app. And then she goes in to complain because her pizza is five minutes late. Check this one out and comment down below what you think. It's a short one, but it's funny. That the pizza says ready on my pizza tracker. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, <laughs> I get a free pizza. And we're asking you to please call corporate because we are extremely busy and we you have guys, no control over that. You guys stopped the timer saying that you brought it to me already when you no, didn't. We have to hit the timer before we leave the store. So what happens is when so you... So it, it took you 
you two additional minutes to get out to my car after grab, you get the timer? To grab your signs and stuff or to check that we have everything. That's not how it works. Yes, that is how that is exactly how it works. Tra tracker, that's not oh my god, y'all. I used to work at Domino's when I was like 16, y'all. I was I started working. I was 15, y'all. Domino's was my first job. I wish she would come in there talking crazy to me about some pizza. Girl, you better go sit in your car and be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I know she getting worked up behind this counter, but y'all hit them with that whole, you know, the customer's always right now. Bump that. Okay, girl, be quiet. Have everything. That's not how it works. Yes, that is how, that is exactly how it works. Tracker, that's not how it works. If this is going to continue, we don't have time for this. We're going to walk away and continue making pizzas, please. So please call corporate. Okay. So in today's next video, we have a Karen who is just going around, walking around a shop, taking a look at items. Now, I don't know what kind of shop it is because it's in America. I think it's kind of like an Ikea. I don't know if you have that over in America. Comment down below if you do. But it's basically a place that sells like furniture, bedside drawers, tables for your kitchen. Yeah, yeah. You know, all this kind of stuff like chairs and home appliances. Well, she's just walking around without her mask on and this manager decides to basically confront her and this is her filming the interaction between herself and the manager because she's refusing to put a mask on and he's basically trying to kick her out. In the end, he gets so sick that they have to call another three employees, the area manager and the store manager. It gets pretty out of hand. Check it out. Why am I being kicked out again? You're refusing to wear a mask and you're being aggressive with us. I'm not being aggressive. You're following me around the store like I'm stealing. No. I'm just not wearing a mask because it don't have to wear a mask. Okay. It's private property. So okay. We require the, the... Well, where's your policy? I want to see your handbook. Come on. Drink, you drink and listen to whatever these ridiculous rules are. They all still getting put with a mask on. So let me see. Yeah, it's on the outside of the you door. You see she has four masks on. No, no, no. I want to see your actual your policy. It's on the door. No, I want to see your handbook policy that it's you have written. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> y'all, this kind of stuff like just irritates me because first of all, with these mad, y'all already done heard my mad story. So look, who am I? Okay, who am I? But, okay, <laughs> but y'all, come on. Why would they have a policy for something, y'all? Girl, if there was a sign on the door and you read it, that means that that's what needs to happen, okay? Because I know when you walk in Ikea right now, I was just there like two weeks ago. Y'all, they got masks all across the desk. Like, please put your mask on. There's too many people walking around that store. Why would you want to walk around that store, y'all, with no mask? I'm just saying. But you know, because some of y'all out there like, I did, okay? Y'all, that's good for you. But I'm just saying, it's a lot of people in there. So if he enforcing that, it probably was doing a really peak moment in time okay <laughs> i just say that your actual your policy it's on the door no i want to see your handbook policy that it's you have written it doesn't matter that's a piece of paper that you guys made and printed up in the back on your computer yep. i want to actually see your policy it's of on the door. It's on the that door. states that you cannot serve people without a mask it's on the door i don't care you have to see I, it. It's I'm, on the door. No, no, no. That's a piece of paper on the door. I want to actually see your policy. It's on the door. For your, for no mask. It's so on the show door. me your it's policy. The That's up to me. You're wearing your mask. You're protected. Why are you worried so much of me wearing my mask? Why are you worried so much about what our policy is? Because if I want to shop freely because I'm a free citizen in the are. United States. So I have right. every right to you're want to shop and spend right. my money but wherever you're also I am. On private property. What? Y'all, these masks, y'all, these mask discussions, okay? And when I say y'all, people just getting all kind of pissed behind these masks, y'all. <laughs> all kinds, y'all. All I'm going to say about that is that for the people who do not wear masks, I'm just like, y'all, just be conscientious of the people who do have health issues who have to protect themselves, okay? They have to protect themselves. And I'm talking about older people, okay? People who have health problems. Whatever that might be, okay? Yes, I know the mask ain't 100%. They not gonna save the world. They ain't gonna stop the apocalypse, <laughs> okay? But y'all, like, put your part in. Just do your part. The best part you can. That's it. If not, stay at home. <laughs> now, I know y'all gonna be like, Asia, I don't wear no mask. <laughs> y'all. 
Hey, do whatever you need to do, okay? I'm just saying. I was just saying. That's my little two cents. That's but the part you're missing. You're, but no, what you're you missing is you're open to the public. That's what you're missing. Building. We're a private business. So some of you may have seen this next freak out, but it's personally one of my absolute favorites. After seeing this, I must have seen it about 20 times and it's just so funny. This guy goes to, I think KFC or somewhere where he ordered chicken and he is so annoyed because they actually gave him boneless wings that had bones in. He goes up to the drive through and goes nuts. He's causing a chaos and this has to be one of the biggest drive through meltdowns in history. Check this one out, like the video, and as always, comment down below what you think. Enjoy this one. There's Thomas on boneless wings. Bitch is on. Hello? Hello. Hey, I ordered a goddamn three piece and y'all gave me one goddamn chicken tender on my goddamn plate. Matter of fact, I'm coming to the goddamn wonder. Hey, folks, you sure you back up? Mind your goddamn business, man. Mind your business. You don't know me like that. You don't know me like that with them ugly ass rims. Mind your goddamn business. Roll them fing wonders up. Come to the one. Come to the fing one. I swear to God. I ordered a fing three piece for my goddamn auntie. And I ain't getting up but one piece of chicken in it. Can I speak to the manager? Can y'all get this out the window? Oh my god, Can I y'all, come on, man. Dang. He is hated over some chicken. <laughs> Maybe he had to use his last coins, you know what I'm saying, at the, at the gas station, you know what I'm saying, get some gas to make it to the chicken spot. And that was going to take the last. He had to go home and come back to find out he only had one piece of chicken. Dang. That's the only reason why he could be mad. <laughs> Cause he only had one piece of chicken. Can I speak to the manager? 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 Oh, but this goddamn woman! I need to speak to the goddamn manager. Get your ass out the one. I won't talk to you. You, hey, why you laughing? This ain't your ass over here. Bring your ass to the wonder. Oh. See, that's why I'm with y'all pop eyes. I'm gonna come in there and pop y'all eyes out y'all ass. <laughs> I'm gonna pop you goddamn. What's going on? Why I got a one piece? I ordered a damn three piece. You want three piece? I ordered a three piece. I got one piece. Okay, let me see your receipt. No. I need my damn money right now. Okay, and you got this right back by you acting like he's hard. Give me your receipt. And he's playing with me. Huh? Can I get my money back? You know what? This is Popeyes, but y'all gonna make me pop y'all goddamn eyes out y'all head. So I know at the beginning of this, I said it was KFC, but it was actually Popeyes. My bad. So wait, he did all of that, then he didn't even give her the receipt to get. Okay, okay. And she and she tried. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Come on, come on. What is screaming to the top of your lungs gonna get you at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? You you know you attract more bees with honey. Even if he was wrong, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I know at the beginning of this, I said it was KFC, but it was actually Popeyes, my bad. But yeah, I think this one went pretty viral, and actually what happened is they find out that he was just joking. <laughs> Obviously, he actually was annoyed that he got bones in his boneless uh, wings, but it turns out he just recorded that and decided to go crazy, and he was kind of acting to make it funny. And the people were laughing in the back as well because he was just pretending to be a car and it wasn't actually serious. Obviously, because when they offered him a refund, it turns out uh, the manager in blue who offered him a, a refund, it turns out he had already eaten the chicken anyway. So he just decided to come around again to film this video as a joke. <laughs> so this is comedy. It's not serious. So yeah, oh, <laughs> on to the man. next one. No, now, this man. next freak out is our last one of today and it is by <laughs> far the best. Now, I wouldn't consider the guy filming this video a Karen because what actually happens is these two police officers walk onto his property, they basically want to ask him some questions, I don't know what about, but they're pretty chilled out and relaxed and this guy's like, yo, what's going on? He's like, why are you on my property? So he has this conversation with the police and it turns out they're trying to like question him and get his ID uh, and he's trying to say like, you know, what law is that? And he's trying to basically argue with them, but in a nice way, he's being really polite, he's not swearing at them. It's completely, you know, friendly and no cussing or anything. Um, and also, I don't know why, but his camera zoomed in. So it seems like he's right <laughs> really close to the police officer, but his phone camera is like zoomed in loads. So he's actually like three foot away. He's not right next to him. Um, but what ends up happening is the guy is like trying to say, why are you here? You have no authority. And the police are basically trying to get his ID 
Now, you check this out and form your own opinions, but in my opinion, uh, these police are a bit silly. Now, do you have a search warrant to be on my property? Okay. I do not, okay? Okay, so... But, listen to me. All right. If you can just provide this information for me, your IDs, if you live here... I'm not providing you nothing, man. Matter of fact, get off my property right now if you don't have a search warrant. Sir, I'm... I have... I'm asking you nice. And I was asking you nicely as well. Hey, sir. All I'm saying, if you don't have a search warrant, paperwork to be on my property, what crime do you suspect, okay, su suspect me of committing? Okay, the crime that I have right now is y'all failure to identify. Okay, okay, 38.02, failure to identify. One must already be under arrest for a crime that he has committed. What crime have I committed? Failure to identify. No, that's not a crime. Walking that only becomes a crime once one has already lawfully oh, yeah. be quiet be quiet let me educate this 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 one you hear me let me educate him 38.02 oh. failure to identify only becomes a crime when one has already been lawfully arrested for a crime let me give you an example sir since i don't know who you is what about detained? huh and what about detained I, what am i being detained for you were detained because you were suspicious activity no no what what penal code you got a name of penal code that i've committed that is the crime. Name a crime that I committed. You were detained for suspicious behavior. Walking out. Hey, Shoemaker. Sh sh shoemaker. Don't, don't do that, brother. Right don't do that. And what I'm telling you is 38.02. Baby, come here. Can I, yeah. can I, can I Google and show you guys? Go ahead and Google. Okay, I'm going to show you guys because you're dealing with the wrong one. That's why you guys mad at me because you won't be able to handle me like you handle the other ones because I'm on top of my game. I know you see the gold teacher tattoos and immediately think I'm another. No no, play up, wrong one. But let me educate you guys today. You hear no. me? Bro, uh -huh. Let me show you. Okay. Let me let me pull out Google because everything on Google, okay? You can diagnose your, your <laughs> whatever your medical health is, okay? You got the whole medical situation going on Google. Why am I having nuts <laughs> pop up? I'm just <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but let me educate you guys today. You hear me? The bro, let me show you. 38.02. Okay. Texas Penal Code, 38.02. Let me read it to you so you can be educated. Uh, do you want to purchase data? No, I do not. Not now. Texas Penal Code, failed to identify. A person commits a offense if he intentionally refused to give his name residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person. I am not under arrest. Correct. You have Everything. to, uh, you ha for what? Because this is proof right here, Marlon, of what we're dealing with. This is proof what we're dealing with. We got peoples in charge of us who don't even know the laws themselves, mm. but I quote them for them. You hear me? I quote them for them and let them read them. Bye. You hear me? Bye. Yes, look at them. Look at them. Straight tire <laughs> pop tyranny and there we go just like that he maybe we should leave now <laughs> check check you know what i'm saying check mate pick your face up you know what i'm saying scoot that on with you you know take that with you while you go bye <laughs> he actually managed to get them to leave because what he was saying was right yeah, that's right they weren't actually even detaining him or arresting him and he quoted the law and although he's not a lawyer and this video in no way is advising anything on law or showing you how to do anything is strictly for entertainment purposes only for those of you reviewers watching this this is still ad friendly and also i'd like to point out that if everyone dealt with them like this peacefully rather than getting aggressive and violent it would just be so much better can you imagine if everyone in that neighborhood where he lives or even the parts of the hood that are really bad if they all were educated in this how much more peaceful and good it would be right. rather than the amount of people that would just flip out on this and end up ruining their lives on the, how they react with the police what do you guys think of this comment down below thank you for watching today's video i mean you know i mean you know you know when you start getting into law enforcement and all that kind of stuff, y'all, you become like, you know, gets like kind of a little slippery slope, you know. But what I will say about that situation is that, you know, I commend him for keeping his cool, both of them, the officer and the, the, the guy that was kind of in that situation, even though he was getting hated, you know. 
the, the, the best part about that situation was that the, the police officers didn't get all up route with him to continue to escalate that situation, if you know what I'm saying. Like, then that's when I feel like, you know, one will bounce off the other. And then before you know it, we had, we had 15 when we started out at two and all you had to do was just lit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody, but I've definitely seen situations where the situation will escalate because of the, the, the justice of the peace officers. Okay. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just like, sometimes you got, you know, us regular people, you know what I'm saying, thinking that we know everything, trying to be all, you know, macho and bacho and everything, and you don't know nothing. And they trying to tell you, and because you want to act a fool, the result and the outcome becomes what it is. So I'm just like, hey, everybody need to control themselves, okay? Stop. Just stop. <laughs> I'm just saying, but anyway. That was all right, y'all. What y'all think about this video? Y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see more videos like this. But if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. <laughs> and I'm going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. Bye, y'all. <laughs>